I got a turtle right here. Ah, ah it's buried in these sticks. Hold on, but I definitely have the back of its tail. Oh, he's um, yeah, he's deep though. I don't know if I'm gonna get him. Ah, he's up underneath this log. Mm. Are you messing with me? Nope, I definitely have a turtle. This would be a terrible prank. Ah, I'm losing him. There he comes, here he comes. Look at that. There he is. Ah. Oh my God, there's so many sticks. Look, this is what I'm in. I'm in a beaver dam trying to get this turtle out of here. Watch your camera, here he comes. All right, got him out, got him out. Come on. God, keep pulling me down. I can't get him, there he is. There he is. No way. <laughs> That's what you call digging a dragon out of a beaver dam. I'm Coyote Peterson. Welcome to Dragon Tales. Hey, buddy. Rowan, Indiana is just as one might picture a small, peaceful town set in the heart of rural America. As you enter through the mouth of an old covered bridge, it feels as if you are traveling back to a time when life was much more simplistic. A peaceful place where one can stop and escape the fast pace of today and transcend into the days of old. A time when stories captured our imaginations, grand tales of giant turtles that lurked in the lakes around town. I firmly believe that there's a world record turtle in the Rowanna, Indiana area. No one fishes for them to speak of, and they can be there for years and years, so it's a real good chance. And those who listened believed every last word. We captured Cornelius and the giant known as Stumpbeak. These are massive turtles, living dinosaurs, modern day dragons. Everyone has a dragon tail, but not many people have the photographs to prove what their eyes have seen. Bill Haywood is one of the rare exceptions. A man who lives for adventure in the outdoors, he has been capturing and releasing snapping turtles for over 40 years. Using safe traps, Bill has encountered hundreds of these prehistoric looking reptiles. But it wasn't until a year ago when a massive dragon destroyed one of his traps, bringing him to the realization that he needed to build something that could capture a legend. Yeah, if you want to catch a big turtle, you got to bring a big trap. So that's what we did, we built a big trap. Bill dreams of landing a world record sized turtle. And the good news is that he knows exactly where one might live. Oh yeah, he's here. I don't think he's left. He's lived here all his life, I'm sure. Hidden deep in the wilds of Rowan is a forest-encompassed lake that has gone untouched by humans for over 70 years. They've never let anybody in here to turtle hunt before. If they live to be 70, 80 years old, there's a turtle here 70 or 80 years old. There's never, they've never been bothered here. Bill has gotten permission to explore and safe trap this ancient body of water, a place where he believes that a 100-pound dragon is lurking beneath the surface. A place that is known as Lost Lake. Do you feel like you're going to catch a dinosaur right now? Yes, I do. I feel like this is that moment in Jurassic Park when they say, loading team, step away. Gatekeeper, move in. So how does this work? How are we gonna catch a world record turtle in this? All right. Turtles, they'll zero in on that bait bucket. So as they're trying to find a way in, they finally find this in. It's completely open. It looks open to them. And there's what they've zeroed in on the bait bucket. More than likely, they'll tear it all to pieces, getting the fish out of it. 
and then he turns around to leave and he can't find his way out. And that's the idea of the safe trap, is that the turtles don't get injured, they don't drown, there's plenty of room for them to come up and breathe, and then you've got a door in the top, which when we get the turtle, you open that up and take it out. Now this is enormous. You could fit a 300 pound turtle inside of this trap. We know that common snapping turtles, largest on record in the United States, was 88 pounds. You're thinking there's a 100 pound turtle living in Lost Lake. If we can catch that turtle, we're gonna catch a world record. All right, let's get this loaded up onto the boat and uh, head out into the wilds of Lost Lake. It's the lost world out here. To enter the realm of Lost Lake, we first had to travel nearly half a mile down a narrow feeder canal. Kayaking through the duckweed, I pictured myself as a character in Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Lost World, my mind traveling back 65 million years to a place in time where giants once ruled the earth. I'm already looking. I mean, this turtle could be anywhere out here. <sighs> be on your guard at any moment. You might just see me spring off this kayak to catch a turtle. We forged over beaver dams. <sighs> Bye, guys. Thanks, man. We encountered snakes. Whoa, it gets deep in a hurry right there. Holy cow. We even caught our first turtle as we lived what most would consider a nightmare. You always say, we wish we had your job. Look at me now. <laughs> With the goal of making it to a prehistoric looking paradise. All right, almost there. They could potentially be hiding within its murky waters, an ancient world record sized turtle. It's tough to not jump out of the boat and just start looking for them. I hit that. I thought it was a huge turtle. <laughs> Not so much. After two hours of mud and four beaver dams later, we had finally arrived. And I can see it just through the trees there. It's Lost Lake. And this is where we're going to catch an enormous snapping turtle. Right, let's get into it. We made it. Nice work, Bill. <laughs> This is crazy. Wow, Bill, you weren't kidding. I feel like we have traveled back in time. This is unreal. Huge lily pads. There's a great blue heron flying on the far side there. Ancient looking trees. And a giant dragon out there in those waters. The folklore is the Indians up on this ridge right here, they lived there and uh, they would send hunters down and they wouldn't come back. Some of them would, you know, some wouldn't, but uh, that was hundreds of years ago. So they, they named it Lost Lake. That's where it got its name. It is impossible to describe in words what I felt as my kayak cut across the waters of Lost Lake, knowing that I was the first human, other than Bill, to explore these waters in nearly 100 years. We were all anxious to get after this giant turtle. And as we searched for a place to set the trap, Bill told us about the day that he had his epic encounter. One of the traps when we came back had two nice snappers in it. The other trap had a hole towards the back of it, huge. It almost left the imprint of the shell as he passed through the, the wire. How big would you say a turtle would have to be to do that? As, big, as wide as that hole was, you can see where the edge of his shell rubbed, rubbed the wire. I'm guessing he's 100 pounds. Really, you think there's, there's genuinely a 100 pound turtle in here? I think there is, yeah. Bill prepared his secret bait recipe. However, the carp is the only part that we can show you. As we released the dragon trap into the water, my mind raced with visions of what it would be like if we actually caught a 100 pound turtle. Good set right there, that's perfect. Got just enough space for the turtles to come up and breathe. Right up against the weed bed. And now the waiting game begins. Two and a half hours from now, there might be a world record turtle in there. So right now, Bill and Mark are 
taking a break in the shade. I just refuse to go in and wait. We've got the trap set. I just keep envisioning this moment when I'm moving in the kayak and all of a sudden I see that shadow underwater, just like in Jaws. Seeing it go underneath the boat, jumping in, grabbing a hold of that turtle. Even without the other cameras here, it would still be crazy. All right, I'm gonna keep looking and we're gonna get him. Encountering a snapping turtle is far easier said than done, and I'm used to the constant search. Cruising the waters on my kayak, staking out in the lily pads, searching with binoculars for dragons. The waiting game can sometimes feel like forever. Bill's method of encountering dragons is quite a bit different. His strategy is to wait and let the trap do all of the work. After a few hours had passed, we headed back out onto the water to see if the trial run was a success. Could we have captured the legend of Lost Lake on our first attempt? The trap was about to tell us. It could be a world record sitting right down there, right? Be an enormous turtle right in there right now. Do you have it? Yeah, it does. Got one. Holy cow, look at that. Whoa! Wow, that's a pretty big turtle. Holy cow. He was no world record, but our first catch was a very healthy turtle. Proof positive that dragons were lurking in Lost Lake. Ah, ah he's slicing me up. Razor sharp claws, man. Whew. There you go. That is the first. Oh, God, he's cut me up good. That's the first official dragon right out of Lost Lake. We caught one earlier in the canal. But boy, that is a good good looking turtle right there. Man, I can only imagine how big they're growing in here. Covered in algae, just like the other one. These turtles are ancient, absolutely ancient. Look at the size of that neck. Man, sharp beak, beautiful reptile. Holy cow, all right. If this is any indication as to what's ahead of us, I feel really good about our chances of landing an enormous snapping turtle. Now, do you consider this a big turtle? No, no, not for this lake. He's, uh, you see he's healthy and fat. He, he's just a really nice looking turtle. But uh, compared to some of the others I've caught here, no, he's no comparison. So the monster is still out there then? Oh yeah. All right, well we gotta get the giant trap back into the water so we can catch the giant dragon. I named this guy Randy, because you guys know I name him all. We're gonna put him back into the wild and hopefully overnight we get the big boy. Here he goes, ready? I'm gonna let him just plop off the side, watch this. Ready? So there, buddy. Now the real test. Could the trap draw in, capture, and hold a world record turtle? 12 hours from now, we would find out. All these years of anticipation, this might be it. Oh yeah, there's something in there. There's definitely something in here. Huge, something's in the bottom of this thing. Gee, no, I've never had this problem before. Look at how big that one is. It's a huge turtle. Wow. That could be the 100 pound turtle. Next time on Dragon Tales.